Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kelly. I'm Sam. And we have lived in our van now since the beginning of summer, so almost six months. In our travels and in our time living in our van full time, we've come up with a bunch of things that will make van life so much easier and a little bit more fun. So here we go. Before we get started, I thought it would be cool to mention that we're in Sedona, Arizona right now. We're at a really cool campsite, but not as cool as the one we were at in Moab, Utah. We were in Moab for about three weeks, and we actually just posted that video. We re-uploaded it. If you want to check that out, it will be in our description or like up here somewhere linked it. But yeah, we really loved that video if you want to check it out. The first thing we recommend for having on the road is leveling bricks. Arguably, like the majority of the time, you're not going to be sleeping on a super flat surface, and you will definitely notice it once you're in your van. So having leveling bricks is pretty cheap pretty affordable pretty easy to store away and it definitely helps make the inside a lot more level and it makes sleeping a lot better and cooking and everything yeah we'll link the leveling bricks we use below we really recommend that yeah and like she said all the products that we're gonna list will be in the description below the second thing we recommend is hooks we have lots and lots of hooks all over our van we have a couple right here to hold our bandanas for sunny and my purse and things like that we have some back there for hats they are just essential it's so important to have extra space to hang stuff and store stuff in your van because obviously we're living in a tiny space also with the hooks definitely having extra hooks around is essential because we had like three hooks when we started and now we've more than doubled the amount of hooks since we've been living in the van so definitely recommend having extra hooks around you're probably going to install them and the third thing is window covers obviously everyone knows window covers are super important to cover up your van and keep yourself private and stealth and so almost all of our window covers besides the bunker windows are professional window covers so we got them from straw foot and they're very pricey so that's why we didn't do the bunker windows i did them myself i literally just cut reflectix and that's about it and then the one on this sliding door was uh, a cheaper one from amazon but having really sturdy and good window covers is super important extremely important it's definitely a bit pricey but we definitely recommend it it makes all the difference the fourth item is string lights. So as you can see in our, the back of our van is we have those warm and cozy string lights and that's something we put in right away because we knew we would want that. It creates a really nice vibe in the van. Also our puck lights throughout our ceiling are pretty harsh. They're LED lights and they're just like not very nice or cozy. So string lights are a really nice way to make your van feel super homey. And these ones have lots of different settings and colors for party mode, Christmas mode, relaxing mode, and we love them linked below. The fifth thing we recommend bringing on the road with you is a portable campfire. This is called Radiate. Radiate. We got gifted this right when we moved into the van and it's been so much fun to show everyone. Everyone's like, what? This is portable? I'm like, yeah, it's just basically a big portable campfire and it's great. Yeah, so it's really cool. As you can see, it's a pretty decent size. It's super convenient, especially when you're hanging out with friends and you don't want to maintain a fire for a couple of hours. This thing lasts a few hours and we usually get like honestly five uses out of it because we're usually just using it for like half hour increments. So there's eucalyptus and then regular scented. So the regular scented one, you can like cook marshmallows is on and make s'mores and what's really cool is it's super sustainable and they reuse wax the owners have a beauty company where they're using beauty wax so any wax that wasn't used they reuse it for these portable campfires so we think it's really awesome and we actually told the company how much we loved them and so they sent us a few more but we are honestly obsessed and we have told all our van friends Everyone. about them everyone's getting into them because we don't ever have to think twice about making a fire we just take out our portable radiate and then we set up our chairs and it's like a whole vibe it's really nice it's incredible so we really recommend a portable campfire just for convenience and fun the sixth thing we recommend bringing on the road is a little hammock we got ours from rei we've only used it a few times but the few times we've used it it's been so much fun it's so tiny so it doesn't really take up any space in the van and it's just fun to like when you're hanging out in a place where you can set it up just kind of kicking it like we set ours up in aspen next to the river and it was just so relaxing and we definitely recommend it. It's not super expensive and it's really fun. Yeah, we got it from REI and it honestly takes up this much space. And it's, it's like just this nice big. to have on hand for like an extra little lounge area. Number seven is our toaster oven. It's a normal Black & Decker toaster oven. We chose one that had the lowest watts. Do you remember how many? Yeah, it only has 1100 watts. So it was definitely the lowest watts I could find. It was only like 25 bucks. Yeah, so we don't have a proper oven in our van, but we wanted to be able to like make cookies and reheat food and things like that. So it's become so handy and we really have had no issues with it. The only time we had issues is when I was trying to cook muffins and use another high power kitchen tool in the outlet. Um, maker. And that really wasn't great for our batteries. But other than that, we can keep it on for a really long time and it's really fine. Just a note before this, definitely make sure that your battery system can take it. So ours can, we have three lithium batteries and just make sure before you use this, know your battery system. 
And number eight goes along with kitchen tools is our AeroPress. So we make our AeroPress coffee every single day pretty much. And why I love it is first of all, it just makes a great cup of coffee. And also it's very user friendly and it is so small. It's so like tiny. such a small little coffee maker and uh, we don't have to deal with like a coffee pot or an espresso machine or instant coffee or anything it just makes a really decent cup of coffee super user friendly i've never made a cup of coffee before this and i make it for her every day it's great yeah also the last thing i want to say about the aeropress is it is all like a plastic material so you don't have to worry about it breaking we don't have any glass items in our van so that is super important to know just, it's honestly great for fan life. The ninth thing we recommend for bringing on the road is a teak mat. Whether you have an indoor shower or an outdoor shower, teak mats, first of all, they look awesome. And second of all, they're super useful. We have a full-time shower, and instead of having the shower pan show all the time, it has this beautiful little teak mat. It wasn't that expensive. And if you have an outdoor shower, you don't want to have you want to have something that you can actually stand on instead of standing on you know the ground. So a teak mat is yeah, it's recommend. like super easy to clean off because it's so wood. easy. So if you have an outdoor shower, you easily just hose it off and don't get your feet dirty. And an indoor one, it's just it looks separates great. you from the shower pan and the ground. <laughs> yeah, it, honestly, I think it just looks really great and it's very useful. So we definitely recommend that one as well. The last thing, the 10th thing we want to mention is just having rugs in your van. It's so useful because as you can see, we are on dirt right now in Sedona. We were on clay, dusty rock in Utah. We were in snow in Montana. You just never know what the outside elements you're gonna be in and you will absolutely track it into your van just like you would into your house, but it's a smaller space so it gets dirtier quicker. So rugs are just, I can't even, describe how essential they are we have so we many essentially have One, two, three. four and we have this astroturf right here we have this rough mat right here which really gets most of the dirt off your so feet. much so washable rugs is super important rough rugs anything that can really just help maintain the ecosystem and less dirt in your van is awesome yeah so those are the 10 items that we think would make van life so much easier for you. So we highly recommend them. You can check them in our description below. We've linked them for you so you don't even have to Google them. And also, if you want to know what our van looks like inside, we have a van tour that we will link up here or in our description below. Probably both. So you can see our entire van and our van build. We built it ourselves. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kelly. I'm Sam. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.